way before modern digital synths. And as George Harrison said, it was enormous with hundreds of jack plugs and two keyboards. Although the P and 3P stood for portable, this thing was unwieldy and as such occupied its own room at EMI Studios, room 43. John Lennon was interviewed by Tony MacArthur in September of 1969 and talked about the new album. He mentioned George and the Moog. Yeah, George can work it a bit, you know. I mean, it'll take you all your life to learn all the, the variations on it. But uh, George has got one. George Harrison recorded his Moog part on the 19th of August, 1969. An interesting note about the Moog from Eddie Veal, with whom I spoke in 2018 for my short film about the Beatles' Easter demos. Veal was a close associate of Bob Moog, as well as Mike Vickers, seen here with the Beatles and the instrument in Room 43. During the sessions for Here Comes the Sun, Veal was called in by EMI studio staff to assist. <laughs> 